did you ever want to get realistic car rigs into Blender and use them to control cars? Well, now here's your chance because there is something called the RBC add-on for Blender, which basically automatically rigs a car for you and allows you to control it. There are two versions of the add-on, the free one and the paid one, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the free one. So firstly, let's see how to download the add-on. And now I have Googled for the RBC add-on and I have found the Blender Marketplace page for it. So as you can see here, I have selected the $0 free version and add added it to my cart. So now you go ahead, make an account and download the $0 free add-on and install it to Blender. Now let's get back. Okay. Now that you've got the add-on downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and get a car rig. Now, I love Back to the Future, so I found a beautiful DeLorean model on Sketchfab, and I've credited the author in the description so you guys can download it too. So, uh, let's extract that and put it into Blender. Okay, so firstly, let's delete the default cube, file, import, and let's go ahead and do the GLB. So we're gonna go to downloads, and here we've got our Back to the Future 2 DeLorean from the GTA 5 mod. So I've extracted that already, so it comes in a zip, and then you can just import the scene GLTF. So let's import it. Wow, this car looks really good. And as you can see, we've got some really nice textures as well. Now each of the wheels are a separate object, which we're gonna keep because that's really good for what we're doing. And secondly, let's just do a bit of cleaning up on this mesh. As you can see that we've got a few little uh, wrong mesh structures here and we've got a ton of extra vertices that we don't need. So let's tab into edit mode and let's actually go to object mode, select everything and tab into edit mode. Now here we can do mesh and then merge by distance. And as you can see, we've removed 98,000 vertices that were unnecessary and would just bog down our computer. Now we can also go ahead and go into object mode, select the hood and select shade auto, auto smooth. We can do that with everything and it just kind of fixes the materials up a bit for Blender. Okay, so now that that's done, let's grab all of our wheels and move them up into the sky. Now we can take our body of the car, go into x-ray mode in our pre-rendered mode and select all, and I mean everything of the car. So every single mesh other than the wheels has to be selected. And we are gonna join these together now using control J. Now we have to select a selected mesh right here. So we're gonna do control J then, and now we have a fully rigged car. I mean, now we have a full car. Now, the car for some reason already came with a rig. I don't really know why, because it's a car and not a skeletal object, so we can just delete that rig. Now, secondly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of our wheels and bring them back down to the car. So you can see that they might not fit, but that's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll resize them later. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything and we're going to do, we can delete these skeletal message meshes right here. We don't need those. And we're going to select our car, everything, and do control A, apply all transforms. So now you can see that our wheels have flipped out the other way and everything is how it should be for our file. So now let's go ahead and position our wheels where our car is. So like so. And we can start moving them in using all of our mesh tools like this. So they should all be lined up and nothing should be crooked because our RBC car add-on is going to be doing the rest of the work for us. And I think that looks perfect. Now, let's hit N to pop out the sidebar and go ahead to the RBC add-on. You can see we've got something called add rig. Let's click it. Okay, so it's added a ground plane, a couple of cameras, and we also have our rig parts right here. So let's select the back tire and hit back left. And you can see immediately we've got this little rig that snaps onto it. So let's do that for all the tires, like so. And let's also select the vehicle body and do 
vehicle body right here. So that's why I joined everything together so that we've got one part for the material body. So now let's go ahead and click generate rig. You can see right here it's teleported it to the bottom. Okay, so now that our car is rigged, we can go ahead and do this. So our rig has been complete and as you can see that I have made a few changes to the ground and set it to a completely black texture by selecting RBC ground and setting the base color to black. Now we can go ahead and control our car. So let's firstly hit play right here and you can see that when we do this our car moves. It's really cool and we can move our steering around and such to make the car move. We can also change the drive right here to show how fast our car is going to go and the steering controls the steering of the car. So that would be all for the tutorial but we're not done yet because this car actually has collisions. So if we set the steering to zero and our drive to minus 10, we can go ahead and add a cube. And this is where things get fun. We can set our, our RBC ground. We can go ahead and set this, it's set to a rigid body and it's passive. So we can go ahead to our cube, hit rigid body and add an active one. So now if we play this, or if our car goes, Boom, it hits the cube and they interact. Now this is a really good feature because we can have a car smash through walls. So if we set this cube, let me turn on our thing right here. If we clicked on this cube, we could do a cell fracture on it. So we would go to object, quick effects, and cell fracture, which is another add-on that I have downloaded. If you do not have this, that's okay. This is just a demonstration of what we can do. So I'm just going to do a cell fracture on it and hit OK. So we've uh, fractured this into four different sections and we can set them all to rigid bodies. So let's just select everyone, delete the original cube like this. And I'm just going to grab all of these right here and do object rigid body add active. Now we've got all our active rigid bodies right here, as you can see if we go into the physics section. So now let's play our animation and you can see that our car smashes through the bottom half of those cubes. Now, if you're interested, we can look a little bit into the tuning of the car because if you're unhappy with the amounts of suspension you have or so, then we could fix that. Now you can see here that we've got a little bit of cutting on the edge or what I say no I think that's pretty good but let's go into the tuning tab anyways so you can see our transform is off a bit but we're just going to look at the tuning right now because if we play this you can see our car is still going so let's just rewind back hit home zoom in okay so in our tuning tab we've got quite a few things and firstly let's go into the tire friction on the physics so we can turn the tire friction up, but mind you, be careful with this. Even if I turn this to five, you can see the car goes immediately faster than it would otherwise. It's because the friction on the tires is propelling it faster. Now, if you turn this down to zero, you can see that our car is just going to roll like this. I'll go back to the beginning of the frame, hit play, and you can see that we don't, our car's tires are just spinning like that. So we've got nothing, no friction at all. So if we turn this up to five and hit play there, you can see that we've got our car friction back now. Now we can also change the wheels right here. So the turn radius, we can play around with this a bit. And if we hit play, it's just going to change that. And if we go to the suspension, we can change the stiffness and the damping on it. So we can change, if we turn the thing down to zero, it's a good thing to test things if you turn them down to zero and we hit play. You can see that our car just looks ridiculous because there is no suspension now. So the wheels are just poking up through that thing. And if we were to turn this stiffness up to around five or so, and now we play it, you can see that it's still pretty terrible. So let's just go ahead and turn that up to maybe a hundred just for laughs. And there you go. We've got a much better looking car and you can see that we've got absolutely zero clipping now on the side of the engine. So yeah, that's about it for the RBC car add-on. 
Uh, we've got a couple extra cameras and gizmos around here, but this was just meant to be a beginning tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to me to benefit my creative journey. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!